Nobody's allowed to call me at work. That's my rule. Unless they're dying or my house is on fire. So I went over and took the call and it's the police. He said, we'd like you to come home. Your house is on fire. All I could see was firemen and hoses and smoke. I just kind of burst into tears. I said, it's gone. Everything's gone. My daughter kept telling me they were just things. And I kept saying to her, but they're my things. They're the things I've worked my life for. They're the memories of you children growing up. And now what? I have nothing. Jude is the representative from the Red Cross that came from Brantford. Jude asked me what I needed. Did I need a place to stay? Jude uh, gave me uh, gift cards to get clothes, um, to get meals. Jen, my manager, said, when you're settled, come up to the store and get what you need. So that's what we did. And then um, they wouldn't let me pay for it. They wouldn't let me pay for anything. It just made me feel so loved, I guess. Lois is a very kind soul. She's just the sweetest woman, very friendly, well-known uh, throughout the community and in the store as well. And dealing with the fire. She look on the positive side of it. Okay, yes, you know, I've lost my house, but my son, my grandkids, everybody's okay. And that's something definitely to be admired. It's important that we support the Red Cross because they don't ask things of you. They just give what you need, whether it's financial support or a shoulder to cry on or just having somebody there with you. That's what they do. Would you like to make a donation to the Red Cross today? You never know what kind of things life's going to throw at you. Sometimes you really need a hand. And when my house burnt down, Red Cross and Walmart was that hand. Mm -hmm.